So guys, uh, I was here in Delhi at the ASUS 6Z launch and as you can see, uh, we have a lot of stuff over here. Some interesting uh, things behind the scene about the 6Z that you might not know. Uh, we'll uh, talk about that, but uh, let me quickly introduce the ASUS team that we have over here. We have uh, Eric. Eric, uh, you head what in ASUS? Uh, yeah, I'm the Software Engineering Lead in ASUS. So I'll ask you some questions about the new UI. And uh, Sean, uh, this is Sean from ASUS, and you do? Uh, uh, I'm a, a Head of Product Management. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a lot of hardware-related questions here. And finally, everybody knows the name. Yes. <laughs> so it's everybody biology, knows yes. you, the so No like, introductions required. So I'm going to really ask some to meet you again. India-specific questions to you later on about the 6C, because I've heard some India inputs were there for the 6C. Uh, can you give an overview about the phone? Uh, What's the, because we have that flip camera on this one, which is very different uh, that has been done on this uh, 6Z. Uh, other flagships haven't done it. And because of that, it has a lot of functionality. So can you talk about it? And uh, can you give us an idea? Because I see a lot of stuff over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, it's a long story. I make it short. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we actually uh, designed for a flip camera in the beginning. Originally, is to solve the overview panel topics. Okay. And then, uh, so here you can see a lot of uh, prototypes. Oh, all yes. these were for the 6Z? All yes. These so all many? It's actually the research or oh. you can say the, the internal discussion for the 6Z. I, I see a lot of designs over here. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so you see a different photo, prototypes. Okay. In the end, we actually park uh, our prototype into you can see six different prototypes. Oh, a small okay. camera, but with narrow, narrow base on. Yeah, okay. yes. And then some interesting topics. The slider, or okay. the half slider. Oh, you see? Oh, it's just a half slider. Okay. Yeah, just the half slider. Oh, interesting. And then some of the pop up. We're seeing a lot. Pop -up. Yeah, we're yeah. seeing a lot these days. But this one we design with a side uh, okay, fingerprint. fingerprint. Yes. And then this is the whole slider. Full slider. Okay. You can see wow. the whole slider. And you can actually slide in the two, <laughs> two <laughs> way. Interesting. Two yeah. way. In the beginning, we designed this as a speaker. OK. So when you slide this way, then you have a speaker, and all the, um, the audio playback will be okay. shown on the screen. And then this is uh, this year, the flip. And even flip, we have two different types. One is like this oh, way. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah. And the other is what we have right now. Like. Right now. <laughs> and so from the start, was it your target to have such a huge 5000 milliamp hour battery? Uh, actually, it's exactly from our end user research. Okay. We are generally in flagships. Uh, yeah, we have seen 4000 slightly more, but not 5000 milliamp. Correct. Because uh, after we launched the 5Z, hmm. we develop, uh, we conduct a lot of uh, end user research, okay. especially in India. Okay. And a lot of power users or our fans tell us, uh, better life is their pain point. Here, I would like to show you, uh, this is the two real product in the end. Okay. And then uh, we also have several uh, the design on the flick. Oh, for uh, the flip, you yeah, had to design camera. so many designs. Yeah, yeah. So in the end, we choose uh, the hair design style. Okay. Okay. And then this is the uh, the parts of the uh, flick camera. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is the PCBA, and basically oh. in the uh, phone, we're gonna put two two layer PCB all together like this. Okay. So the PCB become a very small size, a small area. Very small area. And you have to fit everything in right. Yeah, and we also need to have the um, same tray inside. Oh, yeah. So child very, very challenging. But <laughs> you can see this is the same tray area. Oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah the yeah. same tray area. Yeah, same tray is there, right? Away. Yes. Here, I would like to show you the tiny motors. Oh, these see. are the motors. Okay, yeah, that's these are the motors. Oh, they're so small. Yeah, these are the small motors uh, module. Okay. And then this is motor module. Okay. okay. And this is the motors. The motor okay. is very tiny. Okay. But the, the gear is even the gear <laughs> smaller. Is, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. We cannot put the motor too close to uh, this area. Okay? okay. Because we have uh, antenna, a lot antenna of things are, here. Yeah. So we need to put the motor a little bit down. Mm -hmm. Suddenly a lot of engineering went uh, yes. in this. So uh, it's morning. very tiny and very precise. So our engineer, another headache or challenge, challenge. to solve <laughs> is to find the right material. Okay. In the end, I find this kind of material they call uh, liquid metal. Liquid metal. 
Yeah, and this the, is and the, the reason you went with liquid mineral is because it's way, way stronger. Very strong. Okay. It's around four times stronger than stainless steel. Okay. And then it's only eighty percent weight of uh, okay, stainless steel. Okay, it's lighter. Steel. And lighter but stronger. Okay. And uh, one of the thing is, uh, you see this very thin yeah, line, right? Yeah. If it's uh, oh, it's flexible. Though. Yes, it's flexible. Oh, interesting. So this is uh, the liquid metal uh, special characters. Okay. Yeah? So it's uh, flexible but strong. Okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah. So we need to do a lot of different ways. Yeah, work a lot. Exactly. On this one. Uh, a lot of uh, polishing, a lot of CNC cutting, and mm -hmm. uh, hairline finish. You know, um, because the camera need a lot of signals. Signals, yeah. This, yeah, is, the the, this is the wire that connects it. Exactly. Okay. To the CPU, to the PCB. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a one, we, we, we actually have 32 oh, cables inside. Inside this one. Inside this one. And this is also custom design. Correct. So I see a lot of frames over here. What's the story behind uh, so many frames? Oh, actually, this is uh, we trying to show you how we make the frame from okay. the beginning okay. till the end. So this so is how it starts. Yes. Okay. Yeah. In the very beginning, uh, we have the whole uh, aluminum okay. and then punch it okay. and then do the CNC one until CNC eleven. Okay. So very complicated uh, CNC process works here, here. Okay. process here. But, uh, you know, in order to make our end user very happy mm -hmm. on the product, mm -hmm. uh, on this kind of masterpiece, I would say, <laughs> <laughs> I think everything is worthy. Yeah. It's very interesting yes. to see behind the scenes uh, what all went, uh, because it looks uh, simple when you just hold the camera, hold the smartphone, but behind the scenes so much stuff has been done. Yes. Actually, I'm like thankful because uh, I'm pretty sure like uh, we won't have come to know the effort and so many variations that you had to go about it. So thank you, sir. For thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so, sir, like uh, let's talk about uh, the software on this uh, SIGZI because uh, it's actually almost close to Stracon, right? And it's a little bit different. So can you talk about it? What's the thought process about it? Why did you go with this new one? And I have one more question later on, but first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, after we launched um, 5Z, yeah. actually um, we got a lot of feedback from uh, end users, uh, uh, mainly from uh, the in India end users. I mean, India, so okay. we have a lot of internal discussions and okay. debates on what will be our uh, focus of the new uh, UI for uh, 6Z. So then uh, finally we, we decided to uh, focus on the, the basic um, user experiences mm -hmm like um, we will uh, need to make it fast and fluid and make it simple mm -hmm. and easy to use and of course we'll add some uh, mindful experiences okay. so like you mentioned um, uh, this time we uh, 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 choose to use the stock uh, android look and feel yeah it looks almost like stock yes so so actually um, uh, the user would not uh, be able to even tell uh, yeah. uh, which are, are Asus apps or which are Google apps because we make it uh, very consistent. Also try to optimize the um, so-called Android framework okay. to make things fast. So I have one more question and this is not directly towards the 6Z because I've posted some videos on the 6Z and many of the users who were already using the 5Z like the new UI and yes. my question was, I got this question a lot, was will this new UI come to the 5Z also? Yes, we, we um, uh, I think um, uh, uh, you, you should uh, have known that um, um, Asus uh, has joined the uh, Google uh, Android Q beta program. Yeah. So actually we had provided a beta uh, 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 ROM image for 5Z. Mm -hmm. And that means we'll also um, upgrade 5Z to Android Q. So when we upgrade okay. up 5Z to Android Q, our user, 5D user, will get the new UI. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. So that's so it's gonna you're gonna get 5D users when uh, the Q uh, will come. So that's actually nice. And even you guys are commenting about the next Android version for the 6Z, right? Even after the Q. Yes, we also promise we'll upgrade to R uh, <laughs> when Android R is Whenever available. Whenever it comes. <laughs> yes. So yes. again, uh, thank you and uh, thank you for all the answers. So let's yeah. now talk to Dinesh. I have some India specific questions. Let's so guys, we have Dinesh over here. You, you guys know yeah. him. So I have one question about the sure. 6Z. Uh, any India specific inputs were there when they were designing the 6Z yes. or not? Yes. 
Actually, uh, we are working very closely with Global on all the products okay. which we launch in India, and there's a lot of India-specific customization which is being done. Okay. So just to I think so. This 5,000 milliampere battery is an India thing. Yes, <laughs> I believe but, so. But but you see, one of the key feedbacks which we are getting, like let's say when we launched Max Pro as well, is to have fast charging along with a heavy-duty battery. Uh, the second important thing, Ranjit, is actually you know like there are a lot of features which Indian users have very very highly relevant. For example most of the flagships miss out on FM radio. Uh, yeah, this is one thing like I also like uh, forgot to mention. Yeah, this is one of those flagships that has an FM radio. Generally, FM radio is not present on flagships. Right. And, and you know, you Is this an India specific feature? Yes, yes. Oh. We did ask for it because if you really ask uh, users, you know, our consumers who are, let's say, traveling by public transport mm -hmm. in cities like Mumbai, etc. And you know, in those kind of public transport situations, you don't get very good data speed. Yeah. So you cannot actually have your music streaming on at that point of time. Okay. And FM really works extremely well out there. So that's something, you know, which is again, there in the mm -hmm. product. Triple slot is yeah, another feature. That must be India, yeah, obviously. You know, which yes. is coming from India as a very important request. Uh, then, you know, the other important stuff that we've done, Ranjit, is on the camera, mm -hmm. in the front camera specifically, we've okay. done a lot of hard work along with our camera team to ensure that the software is customized okay. for the Indian requirements. So, you know, basically our skin tones mm -hmm. and, you know, like what kind of colors we like uh, in okay. terms of reproduction and post-processing. Okay. All that has been, you know, kind of incorporated in Sigzi with a lot of extensive research. Uh, India specific. Yeah, yes, okay. India specific. Uh, then we've got, uh, you know, all the essentials covered which Indian customers like, for example, wide wine l1 support ah, yeah. ensuring that we've got the notification led yeah notification led is again one more thing that is being missed sure. a lot i appreciate sure. it yeah and then the other thing is that you know like in india the ambient sound is very high yeah it's nice compared yeah, to yeah, it's other countries so you know we've got uh, this uh, uh, you know in uh, in india we've got uh, one more mode Okay, in our phone, okay. which actually enhances audio. It's called the outdoor mode. Yeah, this was there. Like I was yes. like wondering, what is this? Yes, yes. So a lot of this uh, customization uh, okay. has been done. Plus, 3.5 mm jack has been also provided. So again, uh, thanks, uh, Dinesh, for that input, and uh, thank, thank you, you the entire ASUS team. I want to thank for the input that they have given and the insight about the 6Z. If you still have any questions about the 6Z, do let me know, and if I get answers, I will uh, surely share with you guys. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is Ranjit, and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Thank guys. you.